Steve, as you move towards, uh, in, in the book, you lay out you kind of the transition of your life with Linda and you as a couple, and you, you go on this mission trip to Haiti, which kind of paves the way for your, your life and your service later on. And I think it's interesting to pause here and talk, let you talk a little bit about that trip and the transformative nature of uh, going there. Well, first of all, I need to explain that my wife, from the very first, wanted to expand my world. Uh, the first time I had ever been on a, an airplane was when I was interviewing uh, at Texas A&M as a senior, and I flew on a plane from College Station to Dallas, and it was about a six-passenger plane, including the pilot and the co-pilot, and I actually got to sit in the co-pilot seat for my first flight. Uh, from there, I flew to Pittsburgh, and so... For me, that was a really expanded world uh, from what I was used to all the way through college. Then after we got married, uh, she always had a travel bug. Uh, she had gone to London with her father and had done some studying in Mexico. And so she wanted me to experience these things. And I saw no reason to do that. Um, <laughs> The first thing she did, I was out traveling in West Texas as a salesman. Well, she booked a trip to London for us. And while I was in the hotel in Abilene, she sprang that on me that, well, we're going to London. I, I guess, fumed to myself and thought, well, there's no reason to go overseas. Everything you want to see here, you're in the U.S. Well, needless to say, we went. And I just fell in love with travel and fell in love with London. So the next thing uh, she pushed me to do was the mission trip to Haiti. Our church was going to send two teams, each spending two weeks each, uh, down in Haiti building a church. And she thought, well, this would be good for for Steve. Uh, so... She got with the pastor and made arrangements for me to go, and I wasn't too worried. I, I really didn't see any reason to go, but I knew I only had two weeks vacation total, and so I go for two weeks. So sure enough, the pastor said, well, you can go for one. So I was trapped again. Um, I went on that trip, and again, it was just a totally eye-opening experience for me. Um, I had never seen people living in conditions uh, like the, the Haitians around Port-au-Prince in 1984. As we traveled through Haiti, I was just amazed that people would live in little four-by-four four stick huts. Uh, they cooked outside. They used charcoal uh, from trees in the area that they uh, cut down and, and made fires. They would hang on the side of buses, there would be 20 or 30 people hanging on the outside of buses called tap taps at the time. And it just astounded me that people could live this way, but they were just always so happy. And one of the things that I left with was the change in my attitude that I knew when I went down there, I was going to show them a lot of different things about construction and how work should be done, and it would change their lives. And what really I was left with was we worked together, we exchanged ideas with the Haitians, and a lot of times they taught me things. One of the simple things was in sawing, normally we cut with a saw with the teeth down. Well, they were doing this totally different. They sawed wood with the teeth facing away from them, straight up and down, and me being left-handed, I never was very good at sawing a straight line. But, boy, when I tried it their way, it really worked well. And so this opened my eyes. I also realized that I could live in that type of situation for a period of time. And I really enjoyed it. I, I made some really good friends down there. Um, I've never seen them again. Uh, but it really touched my heart and always inspired me for the life those people led down there and and just in the back of my mind i wanted to to be able to help them sometime Stephen h Vincent, we're talking about his book when faith lights the way and Stephen, you have those life lessons kind of laid out in your book and i think they just do a, a great job of talking about how a mission trip just changes your perspective and 
opens your mind and, and just does a lot of different things. I think it, it does that on, on a lot of different le levels.